It seems every video, the question I get most on the channel is, where in the hell did you get those Revan robes, rookie? Which is understandable. I mean, it's a shame the game didn't allow you to wear the robes in some form of new game plus mode from the beginning after you beat it the first time. And the spoiler is, you know, taken care of. Hopefully the remaster will consider that option. So in today's video, I will share multiple ways on how to obtain the iconic Revan robes you cannot get in game. But first, please indulge me, as the frustrating truth for players is the robes do exist technically, but to obtain them is a whole other story. We first spy the iconic Revan robes during flashback cutscenes. And then, somewhat unfairly, the game shows you again during the player's own reveal with your custom face poking out of the comically oversized hood. And it was from that point onwards, I, like many other fans, just wished that we as Revan could put the mask back on. Now, to the developer's credit, the game does make an attempt to give you a quote-unquote version of said robes on the Star Forge. However, A, they will change in appearance based on your light or dark side alignment, and B, the robes are maskless. It's like the Star Forge is the universe's answer to Wish.com. Now, it wasn't until the MMO The Old Republic that came out years later, and the monetization crew at EA was like, eh, what do you know? Remember when you were Revan, huh? Well, how much would you pay pigs, I mean, fanboys, pay to wear the iconic robes? <laughs> so, I am a little more than ashamed to admit back in the day, I was one of those guys that paid for loot boxes to get them. I just wanted to be the 200th Revan with weird spelling on my server, okay? It's not like EA dangled Revan's awesome appearance over our heads with a dollar sign attached to it ever again. Anyway, sad personal history aside, let's break down the two main ways to obtain the legitimate cutscene robes. Warning, always back up your saves and mods before you mess with them. I mean, the developers have humorously put in a message for the backend if you mess up a save file, which reads, I am so very, very broken. Let it be known, things can break. The first and personally my favorite method of obtaining Revan skin is leveraging the already existing in-game model by using a save game editor. Okay, second, you want to open up the save game editor and once you've selected your KOTOR directory, and don't worry, there is an explainer which is linked with the editor in the description, you can pick which save that you wish to manipulate. Once expanded, scroll down and click on your individual character's appearance. This gives you the ability to change to any NPC or custom face for that save. It doesn't mess with any other saves. So then you want to scroll down to unique characters and just under the Darth Malak Jawless skin, which again, you can wear any character skin in the game, is Darth Revan. As I said, this save game editor just leverages things that are already inside the game. So the two Revans below are used for his cutscene where your character's face pokes through, but you don't want to select that because the game doesn't know to attach your custom head and it's just going to be hollow. I've made that mistake many times. Now, if you don't feel comfortable messing with save game editors, the second way to achieve the Revan look with arguably more customization from the community is of course mods. Again, fair warning, you want to back up your override folder, which is, this is where your game locates and activates mods upon launching. For this example, I've chosen the Revan's item mod, but basically any Revan's robes mod is going to work, and if it doesn't, well, the community will downvote it to hell. The mod, once downloaded and you've opened the zip, allows you to access Revan's robes in two distinct ways. Now, the first section of the mod, labeled Placeables, allows you to find the robes natively in-game to have a more organic, story-based stumbling upon the robes as they have a data pad which explains why they are in the distinct locations of, say, the Sith base on Tyrus or on the Jedi Nemo's body on Dantooine, which makes sense as the Jedi reclaimed Revan's body when he was an amnesiac, knocked out. Sure Surely they could have the robes. Obviously, this doesn't mesh with the greater lore, but it's still a nice way if you want it to feel organic. However, the second non-negotiable part for the mod to work is to copy the contents of the override folder inside the zip to your game directory's override folder. This will allow you, if you have cheats enabled, to spawn Revan's robes whenever you wish, and his lightsabers in-game. And voila, you are now the Revan Kist with minimal fuss and no money in EA's pockets. Hopefully this video helps, let me know what else you would like to see on the channel, and make sure to like and subscribe for more Dark Lore.